Hello, everyone. <laughs> I just feel like saying that every time now. I'm just, <laughs> you know, I won't remember, but I just love it. <laughs> Make myself laugh all the time. <laughs> I totally do. Weird that way. Candy Carnival, my doodle bug. Yay! I'm back. And I'll tell you what, this is week 42, and I just finished week 43 today, and I am two stickers away from being done with week 44. Yes, <laughs> I am on a roll today, and my poor husband went to work yesterday. No, what is today? What is today? Today is Friday. He went to work Wednesday. Thursday, Fridays. Yeah, I think Wednesday. Or did he go to work Thursday? I can't remember now. Hmm, yeah, I think it was Wednesday. I don't know. Either way, but either way, he won't be home till Monday, and that's maybe. He may not be home till Wednesday. So I have a lot of time on my hands. I don't feel like leaving town to go shopping. I just feel like staying home, and I will be crafting. Woohoo! Okay, so we are ready to go. This is the week we went to Vegas, and oh, what an adventure. We should have stayed home. So, because what ended up happening is we decided to go because uh, my the nieces, were, it was their 21st birthday. So, it was going to be their best friend, Cheyenne, them two, and I think that was it. And we were like, okay, well, let's go. You know, I told you that whole story where I was like, let's just go, Tim. Let's, you know, that way we can... We won't be hanging with them, but we'll be at the hotel room in case, you know, they need us. It, you know, just not to chaperone, but just to be there if, in case of emergency. We're not, you know, state uh, stayed away. We're actually down the street, you know. And so that was like because their parents weren't going to go or their mom was going to go, which was my sister-in-law. She was going to go with them also, but she drinks and so uh it would you know there wouldn't be really an adult <laughs> that was sober kind of thing so it, it was one of those like okay well the mom was going to go and the mom was supposed to fly well the mom is scared to fly so she you know so she was going to fly with them and then it turned out she wasn't going to fly it was just it became a mess it was something that was so simple. So this is the day that Tim, I think I, I was telling you, but he was building me something last time. And I was like, but then it ended up being the wrong build. This is the build where he is making my um, shelves, or not shelves, but um, tables for my front door. This is my front door. And if you saw the house tour, you know, he built me the tables. And this is for me to decorate when you walk into my house and this was the start of it and I just I love it I just love it so I took a picture of him um, d um, building in the back <laughs> so that was all and uh, anyway so it became so it, that's how it was it was only supposed to be like girls going but Tim and I were like well let's go because you know uh, it's you know Las Vegas is still Las Vegas even though it wasn't completely open so he's like yeah let's go so we decided to go, but then near the near the um, time to go, uh, their dad, which is his brother, decided to go. And then the cousin was going to go. So then there was a group going, basically. And once we said we were in and we bought our tickets, then the group decided to get together. But we had no, no intention. And... We made it very, very clear that we were not going to be hanging out with anybody uh, besides the girls asked us to go to dinner on their birthday. And we said, sure, no problem. But other than that, we weren't going to hang out with anybody. We wanted to be in the hotel room. It was Sunday, Monday, which is football. And we just wanted to relax. You know, Tim works a lot. He, You know, it was just a time for us to relax. Well, then we get there and... Oh my God, this hotel, we stayed at Caesar's Palace. This hotel, you know, what we have encountered is four or five star hotels pretty much stuck. <laughs> and that is what we've encountered. You know, we, we, we stay at, you know, the Hyatt, we stay at uh, the Hilton, we stay at all these places. And I'm telling you, it's always 
so gross. We go into hotel rooms and there's a band-aid on the floor, you know, they're not in this one, but you know, before when me and Tim stay at these four or five star hotels and then, you know, then there's hair in the shower. It's just, it's so gross. Well, this one was, there was, um, the door wouldn't open for our key card. So I had to use the restroom really badly. I was holding it this whole time and I had to pee so bad, really badly. And I am just like completely, you know, my eyeballs are filling up. I'm like, the water's going to come out somehow. And it was, we were up on like the 13th floor or something, something like that. It was probably the third floor. I don't even know. And, um, and the door wouldn't open. <laughs> So then the Cheyenne and Tim went down. Now, if you love Lush, if you love their their bath bombs, oh my God, you guys, you really have to try this place. It's called Nectar Bath Bombs. Nectar, let's see if I'll focus. You gotta really know. It's not gonna focus, is it? Why aren't you gonna focus? How weird, it doesn't want to focus. Maybe if I go slowly, there we go. Maybe instead of shoving it up in its face. So it's called Nectar Bath Bombs. It blows Lush out of the water. I'm telling you straight up, honestly, order, order from them. <laughs> because the, the smell stays in the bath and it is gentle on your skin. It is, a big difference between Lush and this Nectar Bath Treats, it's what it's called. But it's in Caesar's Palace, and it is so good. It is so good. But anyways, so get back to my story. So we go up to the room. The room, the door went open. Both Tim and Cheyenne went back down to the desk. They said, well, you weren't the ones that checked in. Your wife was, so she needs to come do it. So at the... So I am like livid at this point because I need to use the restroom and I did not want to use the public bathroom. <laughs> so I wanted to use my bathroom in the room, right? And yeah, and it did not happen. <laughs> so I went down, uh, they said, uh, they said, okay, so we got a new key card. We got the key card. We went back up to the room. It didn't work. We're the maid was around the corner. I don't know if there's a PC term to call them, but it was the maid, okay? And uh, she she came and she's like, I can't get in that door. She's all, because the battery is no good. So the battery's dead. So she says, I, I called and I let them know, maintenance know, but they haven't done anything about it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, fine. So then Cheyenne and I, the, the phone is at the elevator for the downstairs. So I called them on that phone so we didn't have to walk all the way back downstairs again. And uh, they said, okay, we'll send um, someone in to let you in. We said, no, the, the lady said that the, um, that the door doesn't work. So this is Golden Puffs, and this is Deep Dish Pizza. Now I'm going to write the names on there later. And um, and so she says, um, they said, we'll send someone up. It was like 30 minutes later, and I'm still like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> and, yeah, then the security comes. You know what she did? Let me tell you what security did. Security uses her key to try and open the door. But... We told them, we called them three times because we were waiting up there. We called them three times and asked and told them what was happening. Security guard goes, oh, it's not letting me in. It's not going to let you in because we need maintenance to come to get the new battery in. The, you know how you, you just swipe the, you just press the key card up against the, the fob. <sighs> oh my God, you guys. <sighs> so I am so mad at this point i am just keeping it to myself i'm fuming but i'm fuming to myself because it's you know it, it it doesn't help telling anybody off or anything like that you don't you know there's it's just it's not it's not cool to do that and so i don't do that but i am fuming so i run back so i'm like at this point when she says that i said i'm done i said i'm, I'm, I'm totally done so <laughs> so i was like okay 
and I go downstairs, I um, see the next clerk, and I said, I need another room because this, I'm not waiting anymore. And so he says, okay, and he acted so put upon, but I'm telling you, I did not have attitude, nothing like that. It was, you know, I wasn't smiling, but I wasn't telling him anything, you know, but he had this put upon attitude that I was like, whatever, I don't care. Just let me get into a room so I can pee. <laughs> And so, and, and both Tim and Cheyenne are like, just use the restroom downstairs. And I'm like, no. So I am holding on for dear life. And I've had three bladder surgeries. And I am holding on. I'm like, no, this is going <laughs> to, I'm going to test the barriers of this, of, of this um, little, what are they called? Um, um. What do they call it? Swing? Um, yeah, it's, uh, what do they call it? The swing, right? That you, you have in the ocean. You put down two palm trees and you go back and forth. And I don't know, but either way, that's what that's what's holding up my bladder. So anyways, so uh, he gives us another room. We go up to the room and we're like, oh my God, it smells. It smells. So... It was, but I was like, uh, so I, I used the restroom. So we get done with that, and <laughs> we I told him, okay, do DoorDash or whatever, you know, whatever it is. It wasn't DoorDash. It was uh, Grubhub. No, it wasn't Grubhub. It was the other one. There's another one. But either way, so I told him, I was like, dude, you know, let's, we need to eat. We need to eat and I'm, I'm starving at this point it's already like an hour later from when we got there and I am starving and I had to pee and so both of those combos were not a good look for me and so and so uh, he's like okay so we ended up ordering this deep dish pizza it was literally across the street but it was across the street so we ordered it oh my gosh you guys it, a deep dish pizza, if anyone who's smart knows a deep dish pizza takes 40 to 45 to an hour to cook, depending on what size it is. A deep dish pizza needs to be cooked all the way through. It is not a 15 minute pizza. So <laughs> the person who went to um, get the uh, get the pizza, this, this, I can't remember the name of it though, but it wasn't DoorDash, it wasn't Grubhub, it wasn't the other one. It was one of those weird M ones, I think. And, um, and it's a little far down, but I don't care. It's fine. So this is, this is us in line. And Tim does a smile. <laughs> so he bugged out his eyes, Ugh, pain in the butt. And, um, and so, uh, well, this, this company, you have the, the person who, who I will call him a door dasher because I don't know the, the other company's name. They have to go to the business and order, pay for it, like on their own dime, I guess. And then they order it, they pay for it, and then, then you end up paying them back, I guess. I don't know how this works. Really weird. So, but we, but we ordered it. So what ended up happening is, well, we tried to order online. So we ordered online with this company three times. Tim clicked, our, he clicked my phone twice because he ordered it from my phone. He clicked it twice, it said payment denied. And I'm like, there's money in our account. You know, we're not, you know, we're not poor yet. And so, uh, so then he goes, well, let me try it again. So he does it again on my phone and nothing is declined. So, okay, so then I said, okay, dude, you do it on your, you do it on yours. So he did it on his phone one time. And he, he did it and um, it was declined. And we're like, okay, so what is up with that? Well, then I have alerts set up for my checking account. And next thing you know, it's almost like a casino. My phone was like a casino where it was all, da -da 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 -da. all these accounts are coming out. All this money was coming out of my account. I got hacked. <laughs> Our phones got, my credit card got hacked and um our, from our phones both of our credit cards so bank uh, bank of america's who i have they called me immediately they put a stop to everything and they took care of me and it was cool 
but they're like, oh, okay, well, it's fraud. We'll take care of you. Your money will be put back. It was $1,200 that came out within five minutes. $1,200 came out of my checking account. I was like, okay, this is just lovely. I'm starving. I, I had two things going for me, right? Well, I checked off one. I need the second one checked off. I need to eat. I'm done. And, and, uh, and so we're dealing with that. Well, then we put our order through, and we ended up uh, putting our order through finally. No problem. But then we're, we're dealing with the mess from Bank of America. Um, the, uh, the, the Bank of America said, okay, we're, 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 you know, we're canceling your credit card, your ATM. It's no longer good. Both of them are done. So they, they took us out of, they, they, um, stopped our credit card. So, <laughs> so we lost our checking account while we were there. And, <laughs> and so I was like, okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. <sighs> Luckily, we have credit cards, so it's okay. You know, we we barely started having credit cards about mm, two years ago or so. Before that, we could never get credit because we had such bad credit. So they never, we never had any 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 credit cards. So we would have been up the creek with no paddle if we if if it was in our younger days. <laughs> So I didn't worry. I didn't sweat because we did have our credit cards and it was fine. You know, we just pay it back when uh, we got home. No problem. And um, so it was like, okay, fine. I still want food. <laughs> so this is our uh, this is our selfie, our our hand selfie. We haven't done since I think March. <laughs> so we finally got back on a plane together. And um, so. Okay, so fine. This, I mean, this was a hoopla, you guys. I'm telling you. And then, um, okay, so then we order the food. Well, then the, these people call us and they said, oh, well, did you know that the, the pizza is going to take, uh, you know, 45 minutes to cook? And I said, yeah. And he goes, well, I guess I'll have to wait here. And I'm like, what? Because I didn't understand at that time that that's what was going to happen is that they were, um, they order. They had to order our pizza. They had to go there personally and order our pizza. The the delivery driver and I'm like, okay, this is so weird. Well, then, <laughs> so an hour later goes by. We're like, where's our pizza? Because it said, you know, we got the whole um, the whole confirmation that our, we're, you know, we ordered our pizza and they they went to go order it for us. Everything right. We get a call about <laughs> 40 minutes later. Guy calls. He goes, "Hey," he says, um, "I'm here at the pizza place." He's all, "Do you know that it's going to take 40, uh, 40, 45 minutes to cook your pizza?" And I'm like, "What do you mean?" He goes, "Well, I, I just got your order in, and we have to order, and it's going to take about an hour." And I said, "But the other guy before you was supposed to order it, and it should have already been here." And he and I said, "Did did they not order?" So he asked the counter girl, and she's like, no, he came in, saw how long it was going to take, and left. So they didn't even call me to tell me that he didn't want to wait for my order. So he just left. <laughs> so the next person, next door dasher, um, goes there and orders it. And I'm like, no, it's okay. It, it, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go get it ourselves. So at that point, it was an hour and a half maybe later, Tim and I got our clothes. We got, we got dressed. We went down <laughs> to go order uh, we ordered it and then we went down to go pick it up and i will tell you guys that was the it, it was it was literally uh, like a mile away but you know it is las vegas so you have to do this you know go over the overpass do that whole thing and it, so it was, it was kind of a pain in the butt but it was it i would say about two hours later is when we finally got to eat from that or two and a half about two and a half hours later we got to eat from that whole time and we were in the other room the whole time so <laughs> and they told us to go back to the other room when when it got fixed so we kept checking and it wasn't fixed because the other room that they set us up in was better and it was it was nicer right and uh, so we were waiting to go back to that room so we were just kicking back and then um, so then we got our pizza we shoveled that in. We shoveled it in so bad. So I got my mammo um, done in October, and our hospital has these gifts for us um, as a, a good job, you know. And I was telling my friends on Facebook, I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll put up in here, mammo. 
Mammo gifts, but um, I was telling them if they gave gifts every month, I think it'd be cool, and you probably have a little bit more people going in because you know at least you get something. You know, people love free stuff, right? So it's not technically free, but you know what I mean. And so, um, but I just thought that would be a good idea. Why, why can't they? You know, do free gifts, um, different gifts every month, but whatever. Um, so yeah, so the. <laughs> <laughs> so that happened and oh my gosh you guys that was such a mess it was such a mess and then the that was the Sunday we got there the Monday that we went to go have oh that's next story so I'll wait to tell you that story so yeah so there the, the whole time this whole trip was just like blah you know it was like we should have just stayed home oh that was the other thing too so we got into the room that uh, was originally our room we went to that room right we went back to it finally it, that was three four hours later the maintenance guy who they told to go up immediately and fix the, the keypad yeah it was about three four hours later he went and fixed it and he goes this is just going to take me um, five minutes <laughs> we're like fine we go in no it was all cool and stuff and later on, I am looking around in the bathroom because they have a sunk, uh, you know, a nice tub, and there's hair. <laughs> there's hair on on the side of the bathtub, and I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" Every hotel room we have been in since COVID, because we went, Cheyenne and I went to San Diego, right? Has hair in the shower. They are not cleaning. They are not cleaning correctly, even though they are supposed to. Even if it wasn't COVID, you're supposed to clean things. So that, you know, that just whizzes me out because I am like, ugh, germaphobe. And I'm like, ugh. I'm like, oh my God, did they change the sheets? Did they change the pillows? What did they do? <laughs> so, ugh. But the one in San Diego... The, uh, we left so they could come back and clean it because it smelled. And then, um, I love this author. She's my second favorite author ever. And um, um, they came in because it smelled and then it had the hair all, I mean, it literally had hair all over the shower and on the shower curtain. And you're like, how did you miss this if you cleaned in here? So yeah, so that was pretty gross. So they came back up and cleaned it. We got one day free parking. Okay, thanks. That was like 10 bucks. I'm like, dude, I'm not expecting anything for free, but I'm like, can you just, you know, not? <laughs> can you do your job? Because that's just gross. Or, you know, don't, if you don't have enough maids, then don't open up that many rooms. You know, it's just, bleh. <laughs> Did you clean the toilet? You know, I'm like, oh my gosh. So, yeah, so that's what it was like in Caesar's Palace, which we paid, what, like six, was it 600 for two nights I think it was like six hundred dollars for two nights so and we paid and we had sh we had somebody else's hair in our bathroom oh, god you guys oh gosh I'm telling you that seems to happen and then it you know it's almost like a home alone it's a McAllister <laughs> family tradition where you leave you know um where you leave them at home it's like this is my tradition every time i go to a hotel room i find hair and i'm like really i went you know we stay at we do the plant i do planner con and i stay at the hilton i think it is at um i think it's the hyatt or the hilton and i go in and i'm in the bathtub and i look over there is so much dust underneath the counter underneath the sink there's a layer of dust and you can see exactly where she puts the 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 towels at and there was a dirty q-tip <sighs> my god you guys it's uh, it's it's my tradition to go into hotel rooms and find the grossest things so yeah <laughs> uh, yeah i'm like we're we're better off staying at a cheap hotel because i think they'd be cleaner than these four or five star hotels <laughs> i'm like oh my gosh so yeah oh gosh you guys i'm telling you <sighs> so yeah that was our that was that so far that was our day in that was our sunday in las vegas we get our card hacked get money taken out of our account like we have bank of america which is you know protection so they they gave me my money back but you know they canceled my cards so this is tim's book 
he had three and a half stars. I told him, look, bucko, you cannot. I was, I was talking. <laughs> I told him, you cannot have, because he was like, it's three and three quarter stars. I said, no, 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 no. I said, you do not do three and three quarter stars. You have to do, um, I said, you have to do um, either full stars or half stars, but no three quarter nothing. <laughs> so he's like, okay. So he gets all three and a half. And I was like, fine. <laughs> so... There are limits to what I want to do in my PL and break my stars. <laughs> I was like, I can put my stars in half, but I can't figure out how to put them in the threes. I'm like, dude, just <sighs> don't make things complicated for me. <sighs> so anyways, yeah, that was our Las Vegas trip. And that was like, really, we just should have stayed home, you guys. We really should have just stayed home. I'll tell you more about it next story. <laughs> I'll tell you more about the next, what else happened. Oh my God, you guys, I've never been so happy to leave Vegas in my life. It, it's just not a place for us. It really is not. <laughs> we don't drink. We don't gamble. <laughs> we just want to sit in our chonies and eat pizza and watch football. And boy, gosh darn it. <laughs> the world is not letting us. So it's conspiring against us. Oh, I dropped the star. I tell you guys I'm exercising. I, I joined the gym with Cheyenne, who's like a stick figure. And I I got up at 5.30 this morning. No, 5.15 this morning to go work out with her at 6.15. And, uh, oh my God, you guys. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is Cordell. I told him, I was like, dude, stand out there. Let me take a picture. And so he posed like that. And I was like, oh my God, you're so weird. <laughs> and so, um, but yeah, so, and then so she said, Mom, you, do you want to go tomorrow? Tim's working. So, um, so I was supposed to meet her at 6.15 again. So that means I have to get my butt up again at 5.15. <sighs> so. I don't know where they're going. But anyway, so, yeah. Oh, this, my poor girl, you guys. I'll tell you real quick. Um, I'll probably tell you more later. But, oh, my God, my poor girl. She is having the time of her life right now. She is, she is getting so much grief right now. <sighs> She's getting, she's just, I'm like, babe, uh, do you want to quit your job? What do you want to do? You know, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, because she is just, People, wives, wives are so jealous of her and think that she is actually wanting to go with the married man. I'll tell you what, you guys, I and Tim raised a great daughter. We raised a great daughter who knows, who is secure in herself and knows that if she were to, to date a married guy, then she knows that he's a cheater. And she would, he would never be trustworthy, he or she, you know, it's for either or married couples in general. So she wouldn't hitch her, you know, wagon to that. And so she doesn't, she doesn't deal with married men <laughs> because it's, it's, just, it's not what, it's not her cup of tea. That's not what, she, you know, she's not freaking on The Bachelor. And so, <laughs> and, but these married women are are calling her girlfriends are calling her and basically telling her off and she's like wait a minute she's like because she's not confrontational her and her dad are not confrontational they'll fight if they need to but they it's not their thing and I was like that's why you guys have me <laughs> so but um yeah they're they're calling her and she's like I'm not doing anything they're just friends she's all it's like you can't have any guy friends if they're married and I'm like you know I bet they do cheat and that's why the wives are all over all over people and then she's talking to one of the other um she's talking to a PD officer who's her friend who who's in the PD section and the police department who's a police officer and she is also getting it from the wives and they're like both of them are like commiserating because it's my big word of the day because they're like we're not doing anything but we have we're getting harassed by wives and I'm just like oh my gosh my poor kid she's like 
I, I don't know what to do. She's like, I, I'm, I'm, like, I have nothing to do. I'm not sleeping with any of them. I'm not doing anything with any of them. She's all, I date guys, because she date, she date guys, she dates guys from another town, because our town is just too small, and, you know, they all know each other, and she has no interest in, in anyone here. So, she's like, she just, you know, she, she dates outside of our town and she wouldn't date a cop or here in our town who's married. Um, she wouldn't date any married men, but these wives are telling you are going postal on her. So it's pretty crazy. So I'll tell you more about it later, but oh my God, just keep her in your thoughts of she's just, and you know why? It's because she's beautiful and you know, ugh, whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I just, uh, I wish I could fight for her, you know? I wish I could thunk some heads, that's for sure. So, but then unfortunately, I gotta stay out of it. <sighs> or else I'll see my, my kid in her official capacity. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not a good thing. That's not a good look. <laughs> so, Shelby loves crafts. Teresa Clary and Barbara Hayes, thank you so much for your comments and thanks for missing me. I miss you guys. I miss you all so much and oh, I got more gossip to tell you guys. I'm telling you. So I'll be back soon because yeah, uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. We'll see ya. <laughs> Bye.